Videos auf T. Einfach Kicker. Thank you for staying here with us on Power to Two Point One FM, your number one all around the station when it comes to token music. Well, special thanks as always to Nine Miles International, and we do welcome you to Sex Explosion on Power to Two Point One FM with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located in St. Augustine. And a very special good evening to you, my big brother. How are you today? Pleasant good evening to you. A pleasant good evening to all the um, listeners and viewers on social media. For those of you who are listening to us on radio, Theater of the Mind, we're here yes, to do yes. sex education for you. Yes, you've got to use your imagination. Imagination, that's mm -hmm. what you got to use. Yeah. Do you use your imagination when it comes to sex? I think that's one of the questions that was asked. When I sent out my broadcast today, I asked persons, well, you know, we get the usual, I'll be listening and thumbs up and whatnot. I don't want that. I want questions. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I told individuals, I don't want you responding that you'll be listening. Mm -hmm. I want you to send a question to me. Just and the reason for that is a thumbs up doesn't stimulate my brain. No, well, of course It doesn't not. make me no. do a better program. No. But when somebody asks me a question, I do a much better program. Yes, it trigger off your mind, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. Is that Edwin I. Young I'm seeing? Hmm. On our good friend, yes, 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 and crazy, crazy boy. That's mm -hmm. family. So you're loco, mm -hmm. <laughs> Mamu Paga. <laughs> How are you, my friend? I haven't seen you for a while. Mm. Normally, he'll check me ever so often. You know, uh -huh. I haven't seen him for a while. That's a good brother. Last time he bounced up, he bounced up in the airport. So, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so. we both have a little Chinese in us. So yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he's very proud of that fact. Yes, yes, we, we both. Cut from the same, same cloth. cloth. Yeah. Right. Um, same I told you and I were, um, yes, he's on, he's on. My good friend is on. Uncle Crazy. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I always find a joy when I, when, I, when I see him, you know. Yeah. I remember as a little boy growing up, the first record I ever bought was The Electrician. Yeah. 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 The very first record yeah. I ever bought was The Electrician. Mm -hmm. Because I, when I heard it, I said, yes, mm -hmm. I love that tune. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you one thing. Eh? I have never seen, I have known Crazy for many, many years. And I have never seen him vex or, or serious. upset. Yeah, even when he's upset because he that be one year, uh, <laughs> that one year he was on the Savannah asking people to play his tune, all the truck men and water. You could tell he was upset, but he still had that well, pleasant look. He still had that smile on his face. <laughs> so, my friend, pleasant good evening to you. It's always a pleasure seeing always, you, hearing always, from you, and always. I, you know, I follow him on on Facebook and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And before I go further, um, our program, our show that we're supposed to have tomorrow has been preempted until um, next week, Saturday, because tomorrow is a public holiday. Oh, yes. So and tomorrow is Shouters Baptist Day, so we have to extend our um, best wishes to everyone there. Uh, <laughs> crazy, you're letting out your secret, boy. <laughs> you said on tablets are number one for the real good. <laughs> and let's keep my boy going. Let's keep my boy going. No, I have to keep my no, boy going. To, oh, yeah. God, man, it's crazy. So, 
<laughs> you sell out yourself, eh? I didn't sell you out, eh? My brother. All right, but no, no, he's not ashamed or afraid to say anything. No, no. no That's no, what no, I love no. about him, you know? He's the kind of person that if he has something to say, he says He's it. a straightforward person. He's very straightforward, and that's what I like, because that's my personality. Mm -hmm. Very, very straightforward. He's straightforward in song, he's straightforward in his comments, he's straightforward in everything that he does, mm -hmm. ever since I know him. Mm -hmm. I hope he's thinking about making a track on us in the program. Well, I, I hope he makes a track on us one day. I mean, you know, that's the ultimate. <laughs> that's the ultimate so what i can say so um so our program has been preempted uh, uh, um, for um, cancelled for this saturday until next saturday next because of the whole public yeah. holiday tomorrow um but it's on mm -hmm. so I'm for really those of you who are interested in coming to the show it's mm -hmm. an adult show those of you interested in coming it's interactive you mean you interact with the um audience and whatnot you interact with those who are um <laughs> and i was very sharp not myself eh? He says the EE tablet is boss for 75 year old. We know you're 75 year old. You're 75. As a matter of fact, he was 75 year old last week, I think, or two weeks ago. Uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yes, yes, yes. So related. Yeah. Happy birthday to you, my yeah. friend. A good brother. A good, good but he's brother. right. That's the best tablet for somebody around his age. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a capsule actually, and it's real boss. It, uh -huh. it, it, it is the best. It works. It works perfect. It's the most perfect. Um, stimulant there is mm -hmm. that you'll ever find and it's all natural it doesn't give you a headache or sinus problem or anything like that mm -hmm. so um, that's the first thing secondly um, I know persons have been asking where's the next store the next store will be in Princess Town and the next store will be at Princess Town Princess Town and it's opening in May month we haven't decided on a date yet of course mm -hmm. um, that will be decided on and when we have the date we'll let you know exactly what date it will be open so so that has been finalized, definitely. I um, mean, yes, it has been finalized. We went and do the measurements. We went and got all the um, stuff that we needed to start mm -hmm. our construction. Everything is there, you know. It's just, Beautiful. It's just to get Beautiful. it put in place and, and do what we have to do, the needful, and to get the place open. Mm -hmm. nice. So the next branch of Dr. Raj Adult Boutique mm -hmm. will be in Princess Town, where Nintendo Road. Um, I'll get the exact address. I think it's 54. It's, mm -hmm. If you're coming from Princess Town, it's just after the church. If you're going to Princess Town, it's the building before the church. Oh, okay. On your right hand mm -hmm. side, there's a gym downstairs. So it's Biotech Gym, I think. Oh, okay. Yes, Biotech Gym. Downstairs, we're upstairs of Biotech Gym. So for those of you in the Southland, those of you in the Princess Town area, mm -hmm. the next Dr. Raj Adult Boutique will be in Princess Town. Princess Town. For those of you who are coming to the clinic, remember tomorrow is a public holiday. St. Augustine will be open from 11, um, from 1 till 11. Um, all the other branches will be closed tomorrow. So mm. that's just to give you some information on what's happening. So let's see where the questions are. The first question, I have a question. Why men close their eyes when they're having sex? Don't call my name. I wouldn't call your name. I don't call names unless you ask me to. Why men just close their eyes when they're having sex? First of all, there, there are a number of reasons you close your eyes while having sex. One, it could be the intensity of what you're doing. And when you close your eye, you internalize and you visualize whatever is happening. You get the feeling through your penis. It transforms up the spinal column. You use the different chakras and then you get into the brain. Uh -huh. Now, Kundalini and chakra is very important to understand because once you get that sensation going up your spine, there's a sensation coming down your spine that is registering in your penis. So mm -hmm. that's a kundalini. That's the energy field that moves up and down your spine. It, it starts with the base chakra and it goes all the way up to the brain. Uh -huh. And it comes back down. So when you close your eyes and you're doing whatever you're doing, you're kissing, you're sucking, you're, you're having intercourse, you're, you're moving your waist in a particular way, it's actually visualizing what's going on. That's one way. Another thing, some guys close their eyes to concentrate so that they can maintain their erection. Another reason is that you close your eyes to think about the person that you're having sex with, but in different forms and different ways, not the particular position mm -hmm. that you're in when you're having intercourse. So you may be visualizing something different. You may be visualizing while having intercourse, the person is performing oral sex on you. So you're using your imagination. That's why you close your eyes. You close your eyes so you lock off this visual part of it and you're using your imagination to stimulate yourself while having sex. Another reason could be that the person is thinking about somebody totally different than you. Mm -hmm. And they're just using your vagina yeah. and they're thinking about somebody else. Mm -hmm. they, what, they are fantasizing about someone that they would like to have sex with. They were fantasizing about um, some sort of fantasy that they have that you may not be role playing in or you may not be the one who is talking about it or, or bringing it forth. So they're using that moment 
to visualize where they want to be and who they want to be with. Now, I know some women will jump on that last answer and say, well, that's why my man doing it. He ain't thinking about me. Whatever. We have no guarantee you thinking about him when you're having sex here. Right, it can happen both ways. Of course. Both ways. And I, I would dare any woman out, there, woman out there to tell me that when they're having sex with a partner, that's all they think about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if they tell me that, I'll tell them that's pure bull. Yeah. You're, you're telling would, me a lie. Yeah, but I, I mean, well, then again, I am just thinking on terms of a personal, personal feeling. I think it's a more beautiful thing to, to have visualize, your eyes open internalize. To, definitely. You know? So it, uh, it, it could also be a combination of all the things that I just said. It could be a combination of all the things that I just said that is causing the person to visualize whatever is happening, to fantasize about somebody else, to think about a different position, to internalize the feeling that is going up the spinal column, to bring the... Fa you see, when you initiate the five senses, if you close your eyes, you remove the sight, but your mind, theater mm -hmm. of the mind, comes into play. So you're not really locking off visual. You might have you might have taken a snapshot of the person in a particular mood, yeah. and you keep that in your mind and say, "Oh God, watch how she was smiling! Oh my God, look how this thing going!" Mm. Whatever it takes to stimulate you is what it takes to stimulate you. And if if persons feel that a man needs something to stimulate him and that's wrong, then you don't understand what sex is to a man. Mm. The more experience you have in sex the more you need stimulation. The more you need to hear things, the more you need to see things, the more you need to smell, the more you need to visualize, the more you need to conceptualize, the more you need to be in a fantasy world. That's what you need to, to bring that out, to give you that excitement, to give you that level of concentration and give you that level of turgidity to have good intercourse. So that's to answer your question. I hope it did answer your question. And don't just take one of the answers and say, that is what my man is doing. It will be unfair to him. Or unfair to um, others out oh, yeah. there. Yes, it would be, yeah. Hmm. So let's see. We have another one coming up here somewhere. Somewhere. Let's see. Okay. My question is, I have a friend. She's 68 years of age and a guy who is only 21 wants to have an affair with her. But she thinks he's too young. What advice you can give her? If she is... Take out the young part or take out the... Um, the age factor and if you are comfortable with having sex with somebody of that age, if you are stimulated by it, if it's something that makes you feel horny and makes you want to have sex, by all means go ahead and do it. If it's something that turns you off, then don't do it. Well, no, of course not. You wouldn't know. Because it's something that you would get Age will always be a factor. There are, there, are, there are older men who want to be the younger girl. There are old, younger guys who want to be older women. Why should you let those things just stop you? You're not breaking any law. You're not no, doing anything. Not. It might be a moral thing with, uh, you know, somebody say a 68-year-old woman with a 21-year-old man. So what? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what? When it comes to love, well, I personally think... No, no, when it comes to sex, sex. you're talking I mean, about I mean, the physical I mean, act of sex. Okay, when you're thinking of sex, I don't think age matters. It all depends on the feelings. It all depends on the person. feelings and how that person is going to react to well, you exactly. and what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, that's all I can say about that, and that's what you need to know, and that is what, um, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. If you are once you are comfortable and there's um, nothing that is hampering you mentally, physically, emotionally, go by all it. means, go for it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, folks, taking our time, it's now 20 minutes after 9 o'clock. You are listening to Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with the guru of sex education, Dr. Ranch Vandenham. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. <coughs> <Just sing. coughs> what I can tell you, it's the league we never knew we needed. The Sunshine Snacks Ballpark Community League. Every Monday from 6 p.m. at the ML Ballpark Stadium, Makoyo. Come out and see Beatniks, SC, Pacemakers, MIC Tigers, Unveil FC, Love in the House, Vampers FC, Maturita, mm -hmm. FC, and SME. They all battling for greatness at the ML Ballpark Stadium, Makoyo. Spectators are absolutely free. The Sunshine Snacks Ballpark Community League is on every Monday night, as a matter of fact, at the ML Ballpark, Makoyo. See you there. <laughs> Park 
Savannah, Port of Spain. The most anticipated concert in the history of Trinidad and Tobago, the legend and Mark Anthony Myrie. Gates open at 3 p.m. Showtime 6 p.m. Along with childhood friend Wayne Wayne. Also featuring Luciana, the messenger, singing melody, Tony Curtis, and the group Lust. Uju. Uju. Get your tickets at IamLegendConcert.com. Cache Nationwide. On Center Exxon Mall and opposite City Gate. Icebox Liquor Depot Cura. The box office Queens Park Savannah. Larry Chaguana. Cache Tobago. For more info, call 610-484-Boost. I got away for it, yeah. Wow. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Power 102 FM, the Boom Champions wow. 94, and Vanguard <laughs> present Think Twice. Think Twice. We celebrate life and promote safety on the nation's roads. Think Twice. On the roads, in your cars, for our pedestrians and cyclists. Think Twice before you drive, act, and go about your daily lives. Every life is precious, and we must each do our part to preserve lives on the roads of Trinidad and Tobago. Think Twice. Every day, we give you life-saving tips and advice on how you can safely use our roads and highways in Trinidad and Tobago. We also invite you to download the safety app, which you can use to share messages and information in your very own private networks between family and friends and co-workers, all to keep each other safer. Think Twice. Brought to you by the Vehicle Management Corporation of Trinidad and Tobago Limited. Vemcot, in association with Arrival Live and the TTPS. Neil and Nassi North Credit Union, the Galette Group of Companies, Agricola Credit Union, and Computers and Controls. Think Twice. Think Twice. Safety for you and your family. Think Twice. And a safer Trinidad and Tobago. Sexplosion is on Power 102, and now on new days and at new times. The country's most informative sex education program, Sexplosion, is on every Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. and Friday from 9 p.m. to midnight. I like to make sure to check out when I leave here as well. The other night, you know it will add people to come down. Sex is totally below the check. It is not below the And it's reading correct, but it's not coming through the system. I don't call Steve was mad, he wasn't thing. But when he realized the jack, the jack was out. Yeah, I think Saturday they was talking about that, the jack was out. Yeah, but you know, that's the first thing I check when I come in. What a good journey that we are giving our listeners what they want and expect from a good radio program when it comes to sex education, right here on Power 102. Accurate, reliable, and powerful. May I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. The only sex technologists in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramnanam, are Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located in St. Augustine. Yeah. Um, for those of you who are sending messages on Facebook, I cannot um, read all of it. I'm trying to get it here on my phone. But if you can, send the very same thing on my cell phone, 7401961. I will get to your questions and I'll be able to answer it quickly. Some people does that to fulfill their desire. That's from Diane. Pleasant good evening to Marissa. Pleasant good evening to my nephew Sachin. He's on. So all these lovely people are on. I have something to talk about as Marissa came on. I just remembered, so I have to talk about it. Yes, I love to visualize when I'm making out. It helps me to come more faster. Yes, the mind is a powerful tool, true, and it's good to have a spiritual connection with your partner as well or help you in your love or sex life. Sex could be spiritual, but it is not only spiritual. And last night I had to correct that because um, if you think that sex should only be spiritual, then you miss the essence of sex, then you miss the, the physical connection, then you'll miss the things that could happen to you. Because when you are in a relationship, there is any relationship that you have, there is some sort of spiritual connection because we don't meet by chance, we don't get in connection with people by chance. There's always some spirituality behind it. So don't think that anything happens by chance. Some people are there in your lives to make changes, some people are to help you along a certain path, some persons are there to give you experiences, bad experiences and good experiences. So those are the things that happen. But when it comes to the physical aspect of sex, mm -hmm. You could take out the spiritual part of it and it could be purely physical. That's why a person could go and pay for sex. 
So if you don't believe me, it's as simple as that. You can go and pay for sex. There's no spirituality in that. Mm. So some person will say, well, why do it? Because if there's no spirituality in it, because it's a sex. Mm -hmm. It is what we are programmed to do. So it shouldn't be something that is shunned upon and it shouldn't be something that we want to push aside and say it's bad. Good evening, my handsome guys, locked on and listening. This is from Cassie. And uh, who else is on? Let's see. Rosanna, Kuwin, Sasha, Sumitra, Nancy, Nick. Um, <laughs> I'm not seeing the names that I'm looking for. So you still haven't found what you're looking for? <laughs> I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Mm -hmm. They sing a whole song about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Correct. But maybe they will come in a bit later on. Yeah, yeah. And you know your favorite does. usually touch base around 10 o'clock. True. So let's see what's happening here. We have another question. Where, where did it go? Hi, good night. Does the, pa the past play a big part of the future? Um, of course it does. You see, we are a product of our past. Mm -hmm. Our past is our foundation for the future. We cannot exist if we don't have a past. That's why... If you study um, Sanatan Dharma, you'll understand that persons who come into this world come with what you call karma, uh -huh. good karma and bad karma. That's why you find people being born in certain countries. That's why you find people being very successful. Some people catching the tail from day one. That's why mm. you come with that baggage. So you're born basically. You're born, you're with, born that. with that. But you're born with a certain amount of intelligence and no way wherewithal to overcome those things. So, that's one aspect. The second aspect is the things that you experience from childhood to now will determine your sexuality, your behavior. You know, um, if you study Freud and if you study things of that nature, uh, Jung and all these people, you'll realize that when Freud talked about it, he said, we, by, by, by nature, we are bisexual. Mm -hmm. By nature, we are. It's what you feel. It's what you develop. What's that? You no. hear that? Yeah. That's an alarm. No, maybe that's an alarm. Yeah. It's what you feel. It's what you develop. Your bisexual nature is what we are born with. And sometimes it's getting louder. You know that? Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, And sometimes you play upon, on one more than the other. But by nature, we are that way. But we suppress it because of society. We suppress it because of religion. We suppress it because we think it's wrong. Mm -hmm. But if by nature, that's who you are, right? It's what you develop in your childhood days. Now, the same thing with being gay and straight. Some people will say, well, you're conditioned to be gay. But some people are born that way. Mm -hmm. So it could be conditioning and it could be by birth. So what do you do? Do you chastise someone for a lifestyle and say, well, they choose to be that way, so we should burn them, we should beat them, we should kill them? No, you don't. And a deeper understanding of human behavior and whatnot. Now, you may not like the behavior of some of the persons in that realm because some of them tend to be, tend to be overbearing. Well, yes. Some of them want to push their lifestyle onto mm. you, which is wrong. As the old people would say, Koskel. Koskel. Um, so you don't want those things. What you need to do what you need to do is to focus on the, the areas that makes you who you are. But a lot of time we deny the fact of our bisexuality or our sexuality because we are afraid to embrace it. We are afraid to say that this is what we like. We are afraid to say because you are bisexual by nature and you choose a bisexual lifestyle that you're going to be gay. Mm -hmm. Because we tell ourselves that this is wrong. And that is where the problem comes in and the conflict comes in within us. Now, for example, if you were physically and sexually abused as a young man, it will determine who you are when you get older. It's either you perpetuate that on others or you protect others from that. Mm. But that's why I always question when I see people take up on the mantle of doing something. I question what is in that person's past to make them want to do that. Is it because they were actually abused <clears throat> when they were younger? Or is it because they're protective of that because they know of the situation of these things? 
So you question these things. As a social anthropologist, as a sexologist, as someone in, the, in this arena, you question these things because you see certain behavior and traits in individuals that take up the mantle of these things. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Interesting. It's very interesting. Psychologists and um, others in the field will tell you the very same thing. When they see someone coming out there and um, being open about something or talking about something in a protective nature or, or want to do something, you question their motive behind it. You question mm -hmm. why they want to do it. Some persons by, by nature, they just um, want to help. They want to see changes. They want to see positive changes. Excuse me. They may not have the answer for everything, but yet still they want to contribute to society. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are some people who feel they need to belong. They have to join this club and that club and that, and they have to, they have to feel they need to belong because if they don't belong to something, they're lost. Yes, they get themselves involved in everything. Yeah, everything. You hear they're in this club and they're in this thing and they're that, they're president and that, and they want titles behind their name. Because it is what gives them importance. But their contribution to society is limited to based on the whatever they're doing, but they're not propelling themselves. Mm. They're projecting themselves as far as feeling important, but they're not really important in whatever they're doing. Some persons join club, but they don't do a fart in the club. They just want to say, I belong to this and yes. I belong to that. I know a lot of people. I, I know, I do plenty of people. Uh, like a lot of people like that. I, yeah. I don't belong to any club. Mm -hmm. I don't belong to any club. I have never joined any club or anything. Just for a say so. No, I don't. I don't believe, I believe in that. Mm -hmm. I believe if you have to help people, you help them. If you have to do things, you do it. And that's the end of that. And that's what I do. Yes, but that is the proper way to approach it anyhow. You know, you don't try to, as you rightfully say, people try to impress you so much that it is unbelievable. But it's the best way to do is to go straight <laughs> <back>. <laughs> <coughs> but just, I just want to remind listeners that our lines are open. If you would love to interact with Dr. Raj, feel free. The couple of numbers, 222-8255, also at 612-8255. Now, if you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 740-1961. May I remind you that... This program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. Yeah. You know, it's a major issue. Guys who are looking at porn, and they may be looking at something bisexual, or they, 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 they search in the um, internet, and they see gay porn, mm -hmm. and it turns them on. So they, they question themselves, am I gay? You're not gay, it's a sexual act. Mm -hmm. A sexual mm -hmm. act will turn you on. There are persons who read rape stories on the newspaper and get turned on by that, you know, because it is a sexual act. Things of a sexual nature will stimulate your brain in a particular way. So you will react to whatever the sexual stimulation stimulations are. Mm -hmm. But it does not mean to say you will go out and rape and, or you'll go out and, yeah. and, yeah. And, and, and have sex with the same sex or whatever. But you know what times I get called from individuals or they send me text messages or, or they see their husband um, watching gay porn and they wonder if they're gay. It, there be, there's a curiosity when it comes to sex. So the question is ab uh, about the spirituality. Do you remove the spirituality out of that when it comes to that type of sex? Bestiality or bestiality? However you want to pronounce it. Is that something that is going to make you want to have sex with an animal? It may not, it yeah. may be, but it's a sexual stimul it's sexually stimulating um, act that could cause you to be sexually aroused. It does not mean to say that you are going to have sex with a dog or a cat or a rat or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But mm -hmm. again, sometimes we are fearful of our thoughts. We are fearful of the things that stimulate us. How many persons out there like carnival, like you watch costume, they sit down in front of the television, they see people parading, but they don't partake in carnival. Mm -hmm. Thousands of individuals. Yes, you have a wide range of uh, people that that's the, that How many persons out there would like only action movies, but they go, don't pick up a gun and go and shoot down people? Mm -hmm. How many persons out there love westerns? And a western, I mean a western is violence from beginning to end. 
yeah. all kind of violence. And there are, there, are, there are violence in Western that has to do with sex. There are violence in Western that has to do with rape. There are violence in Western that has to do with um, this, um, advantaging people, bullying, all kind of things. Mm -hmm. But you enjoy it. Why do you enjoy it? Because it's entertaining. Yeah. But you won't find yourself... No, go in and do that. But it is what entertains you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. the same thing with sex. Whatever entertains you in sex does not mean to say that is what you want to do. But, of course, we will have likes and dislike. And what, what are your likes? You embrace it. Mm. How many of us are honest enough about our likes? And I want persons out there who are listening to the program, if you are honest enough, send me a message telling me what are your fetishes. What are the things that you like when it comes to things of a sexual nature? Be honest. Is it a threesome? Is it a same-sex experience? Is it a multiple partner? Is it a gangbang? What, yeah. what, what it is turn you on? Now, some persons may say, well, I could only say that based on what I've seen, but I've not participated, mm -hmm. so I don't know what I'm going to like, and that's a correct answer. Because in an actual sexual situation, you may find yourself doing things that you may not consider doing in reality but in that particular but in that particular moment it could be done mm. so what it is that turns you on in a sexual situation that is different mm. and are you embracing that difference and and, and finding out who you are really mm. no. there are lots of married women out there there are lots of married <clears throat> men out there who don't say the truth about their sexuality or their sexual behavior mm. or their sexual wants. They do it in a clandestine manner. I know people who leave Trinidad and go on, go to strip shows and things away. They wouldn't do it here because they, they feel it too right. important to do it here. Yeah. But mm. they'll go away and do it. Mm. I remember once when I was a student, together with our good friend, you know our good friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We went to this club uh, where we used to always go because we used to, we used to take the crumbs off the table. Mm -hmm. Now, taking the crumbs off the table, I'll explain that to you in a while. So we used to go to this particular club and everybody knew us. All the strippers knew us, all the bartenders knew us. We used to get free drinks. We used to get a lime. We used to get to be by the bar. We used to get to be in areas that you're not supposed to be. Because we made friends. We are Trinidadians. We good at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So once we were standing by the bar, I think it was four of us, and the lights that goes on the stage reflects from the bar onto the stage. So if you're looking at the bar, you can't pick out anybody by the bar because the lights are in your eyes. And this entourage came in, big entourage, important people. They sat around the table, and uh, not the table, the, 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 the ramp, where the girls, the runway, the walkway, where the girls um, walk on and do their striptease and whatnot. And they're shelling out money and putting it in their garter belts and putting it in their panties, and the girls will take out their bra and put their breasts in their face and slap them with the breasts. And the whole works, the whole nine yards they were getting. So the MC is on the stage and he's asking questions of the guys. And then he asks one of the um, one of the gentlemen there, who was the important gentleman because he had two bodyguards and you could tell he was the hefe. He asked him, where are you from? And he said, one of those Spanish-speaking countries. And we say, he lie, he's from Trinidad. <laughs> because we knew who he was. He was a senior <laughs> minister at that time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when he said that, we told her, we, we said that he lied mm. from Trinidad. But you know, that's the first thing they would mention it. Uh, a Spanish, a Latin yes, country. Yes, a Latin country because yeah. he looks Latin. Mm -hmm. He looks Latin. He used to always wear white shirt jacks, so you know, he looks Latin. And he spun around, but he couldn't see us. We could see him. Mm -hmm. But we recognize him immediately. Mm -hmm. No, but there are a lot of people that leave here that things that they would not do participate in here will go away and have a free mind. I will tell you that. If you go to any of the swingers club and think the amount of Trini you just bounce up in them place. Mm -hmm. Here is that. You wouldn't believe you. When you go to any of the swingers club in Florida especially, and any given night you're bouncing up at Trini. I think one of the main reasons... Trini is, like salt, you know, yeah, and I, everything, you know. But I think one of the main reasons why they are afraid to, particip to participate here is because, as you know, Trinidad and Tobago is such a small place. If you do Florida is a small place too. It, no, yes, but <laughs> when, you, when you're thinking in terms of here, everybody likes to intermingle. Once you do something here, before you know... No, that's you know, not necessarily true because I do a lot of things here and you have no idea who is there. No, well, you're different. 
Well, that's what I'm telling no, you. You're different, but I'm speaking because to I protect the I protect those who take part in anything that I do. But, exactly. but what I'm telling you is that we live by double standards. We do, and yes, there are individuals mm -hmm. here who will go away to do certain things. Mm -hmm. Hi, good night, Dr. Rajan, Big Brother Junior, PK from my arrow lockdown, taking in the program. PK, how are you? Eating vaginal fluid make you immune to cancer and other diseases? Question I'm asking, okay. Um, no, no, vaginal fluid doesn't make you immune to cancer and other diseases. As a matter of fact, if the person whose vagina you're eating have an STD or STI, you could get it well, orally. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful what you're doing down there with who you're doing it with. I have a problem with coming fast with my wife, but I take longer with my ex. Well, it may be because of the stimulation, or it may be now that you are no longer in control of your PC muscle. Aging process could cause that. The PC mm -hmm. muscle, the pubococcygeal muscle, it what causes you to have control over your ejaculation and your length of time that you take to ejaculate. So we're going down the line, and they, they come up. Marissa, no, the answer is inside here. It's very cold. Mm. Um, that's because of all equipment. I think if you touch this iron here, your hand could stick on it. But mm -hmm. So yes, the um, <coughs> the studio is very cold, especially mm. when Junior is in. I don't know why. <laughs> Myth or fact? If a man ejaculates during anal, the semen acts like a mild enema. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. The air that is pumped into the anus when you're having anal intercourse could also cause an enema. Mm -hmm. The Ejaculation inside the anus could cause an enema. So yes. So and let's take a break and yep. when we come back we'll deal with the rest. Anyway, folks taking more time, it's now seventeen minutes before ten o'clock. You are listening to Sex Explosion on Power One Two FM. The only sex technologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramnanam, of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located in St. Augustine. We're gonna take that break and would be right back with you. Stay tuned. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. What can I say? Feature. 
featuring Luciano, the messenger, singing melody, Tony Curtis, and the group Lust. Boom, shoo, boom, shoo. Get your tickets at IamLegendConcert.com, Cache Nationwide, Pond Center, Exland Mall, and Opposite City Gate, Icebox Liquor Depot, Cura, The Box Office, Queens Park, Savannah, Larry Chaguanas, and Cache Tobago. For more info, call 610 Booja and 484 Booja. Sponsored by Rita M. Sound Company, SM Jalil and Company Limited, Southern Sales Car Rentals, the OCM Group of Companies, Chemco Innovations, and Print TT. I am Legend Free at Last. Sexplosion is on Power 102. And now on New Days and at New Times, the country's most informative sex education program, Sexplosion, is on every Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. and Fridays from 9 p.m. to midnight with Dr. Raj Ramanan, the guru of sex in the Caribbean. A lot of times you think that sex is totally below the waist. It is not below the waist. It starts in the brain. The largest sex organ that you possess is your brain. Tune in for discussion on all sexual matters. Sexplosion is it on the in Power huh? You. Is it me or the place heating up? No, it's warm. No. What a country that knowledge and experience, this is what it's all about when you are on the inside of the explosion of power on the 2.1 FM. Well, reminding you once again that our lines are open for those of you who would love to interact with Dr. Raj. Feel free at 2228255, also at 6128255. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 7401961. You're listening to a program that deals with sex, love, and relationship exclusively on Power 102 FM, your number one all-around station when it comes to talk and music. Yo. Junior, you know I wear a beanie on my head whenever I travel, and you know where, where I got that from? Where is that? The great Colin Croft. Once we were traveling um, on a flight, we were both in business class mm-hmm. traveling, and I noticed that he had on a beanie. In those days, we used to put on the mask and, you know, to block off the light if it's bright outside or whatnot. And I, I, well, I asked him, I said, um, you always travel with the beanie? He said, yes, and he just pulled it out so to cl- mm-hmm. block his eye because it, w- it acts as a blindfold also. Well, so yes, since that, I've yes, always yes. Wear, yeah, worn a beanie yeah, when yeah. I'm flying. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I learned that from Colin Croft. And you'll feel more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, you're very much. Well, well, when I get on board, I take off my hat, I put it up on the bin, and then I take my beanie and mm-hmm. I put it on. Yeah. And you're nice and warm. I have never tried it that. It keeps your ball head warm yeah, because when that air condition hits in your head, yeah. you don't like that. Eh? Yeah, but I have never tried that, but I can visualize how comfortable it is. Oh, it is very comfortable. But I'll tell you, I learned that from Colin Croft. Yeah, especially if you're traveling. I was asked recently what type of porn I like. My response was ebony because I love to see the black and pink. I think yours is black and pink also. Mm-hmm. And you'll agree with me on that oh, because okay. it's no. Wicked Angel we're talking Wicked about here. Oh, def- yeah, we know she's black and pink. <laughs> that's, uh, for sure. that, that's for sure. And gay porn, just something about that turns me on. She likes gay porn also, nothing mm-hmm. wrong. Well, she's getting the better view. She's getting two than one. Yeah. So... What can I say? Enjoy it. Mm. It's just like a man. Sometimes he loves seeing two women make love. Somebody says, opening inside two, peeing. Got one for the first time recently. I get you mean golden showers. Mm. Ooh. She liked golden showers. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. But is it advisable to have plastic below you when you're doing that sort of thing? Of course. Uh, um, you know those p- plastic that protects your mat- mattress or yeah. invest in a piece of plastic and keep it nearby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it saves a lot. I'll tell you I'll tell you a little trick in it. Turn up the ends, the edge of it, so that yeah. the water don't spill oh, out, so, the okay. urine don't spill out. Yeah. But or you could use one of those like Incopad mm-hmm. yeah. that absorbs quickly. Yeah. But sometimes, uh, I mean, when you're in that kind of mood and you're participating... You, you have time to pull the plastic. That's the plastic why you always put the plastic on before. You ain't thinking and you make about, sure it's there. Yeah, you ain't thinking about putting That's it. why you put the plastic on before and you make sure it's so, there. Yeah. And if she's a person who's a scooter, they're going to wet everything down. Wet mm. me down. Mm. A woman with nice pedicure toes in red turns me on still at my age. This is from Big Brother. Yeah, Carlos. Mm-hmm. Well, Carlos says the woman in red still turns... My fetish is eating a black dude's ass, licking, sucking, swallowing off his brake, kissing him. Nigel. 
Very good for you. Um, good show can infrequent sexual activity lead to eventual lack of interest. Yes, use it or lose it. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So I was talking a, a while ago um, and I was just um, reminded mm. about it. We are doing something now where we are, we are hiring five young ladies uh -huh. to do promotional activities with the stores because now that we have the stores, we are going to do something different. Um, all the stores are going to go live online by May month. Mm. Okay. So you can be anywhere mm -hmm. in the world, yes. anywhere in Trinidad and order your stuff. You can pay directly online or you can pay the person when they deliver it to you. Yeah, that's beautiful. So all the stores are going to go you. online. So if you are in the Penal Debe area yeah. and you want something from the store, you can go on your smartphone, you can go on the internet, you can mm -hmm. go on Facebook and you can um, order your stuff. You can pay directly there mm -hmm. with your credit card, only with credit cards, not with links. Mm -hmm. And all you need to do is give your address and it's delivered to you. Right at your That's front door. That's it, at your front door. Even in your bedroom if mm -hmm. you want it. Well, some people would order things that they would want to use in the bathroom and mm -hmm. they would want to use it right away. So. Yes. So we are working on that. That will be up and running from the, around the second week in May. Mm -hmm. So yeah. all the stores will be equipped that way. And the girls who are doing the promotional items, uh, some of them will be in masks, some of them will be in costumes, so you don't have to know who they are. They will be anonymous. Mm -hmm. You could come to some of the stores sometime to meet the girls. You can get autographed pictures with them. You can, they will talk about products also. We'll have live streaming of talking about products and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it is something innovative and new that we're going to put into it, that it's going to make it more interactive. You can see how a toy is being used. You can get a feel of it while looking at it, at it on a, nice. a, a, a video broadcast. Great, great. So great. that's one of the things that we're working on. And I have a young lady, a beautiful, beautiful, sexy young lady who is in charge of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice, huh? Yes. You would love her. I will. You will. If you only see her, you're going to leave here right now. I want to go out the door. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to show you a picture. Okay, okay. I'll wait and see if she brings... Night, Dr. Raj. As you were talking about squirting and golden showers... What about squirting and golden showers? You mean clean up afterwards? Mm -hmm. Always have a mop and a buck, bucket ready. Yeah, because are, are you're you speaking in parables, man. You can't put the my before the, the, the after the GF. <laughs> you see when his <laughs> girlfriend is squirting, he feels the pee. Mm -hmm. Pee? What's um, stopping you? Yeah. There's some women who want to. There's someone who want to pee while they're having intercourse and they're afraid and they lock it off. But that mm. may be because they don't realize that they are a squirter and you need mm. to let it out. Of course, shame and embarrassment stops them from doing. But I know the young lady who said that she had that experience with the um, golden shower is not ashamed nor embarrassed to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you're... Anyway, near her, she'll wet you down. <laughs> I get that feeling from her. You know, sometimes you, you, see, yeah. <laughs> you see a picture of someone or you, you, you just get that feeling that mm -hmm. she would like to do that to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the feeling I get when I look at her. Yeah, that's the kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the kind of person driving. who will squat over you and just let you have it. Mm. Yeah, something tells me that. Mm. Food for thought. Mm-hmm. Why well, you feel, you feel shame to mm -hmm. pee while your girlfriend, girlfriend squat by... Look, let it go, yeah? Mm. When you deny yourself these things, you don't enjoy the full, the fullness of sex, you know. And I see the doc is on, my good friend Chucky. I see my good friend from primary school was on, Naima. Primary school? Primary school, man. Standard two. Wow. Wow. Yes, that is way bad. Naima. Well, I can tell you that nobody does better what we do best when it comes to sex education every Thursday and Friday right here on Power 102 FM. Sextologist Dr. Raj Ramnanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Centre located in St. Augustine. Well, folks, for those of you who would love to interact with him via the telephone, feel free. Our lines are open. Anything that might be bothering you that is sexual and you need to get clearance on. Well, I can tell you. This is the program for it. Feel free at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. Now, some of you are a bit shy to hear your voice on radio. 
Well, if you do decide that you have a question that you need to get answers to, you can also send him a WhatsApp or a text message on his private mobile, 7401961. You're listening to Power 22 FM, accurate, reliable, and powerful. Um, somebody says, I want to go and see that. I guess they were talking about the ship shows and whatnot. You can see Tintron and that. You can come. You? you can call me and next week you can come and see that. Cornell says, is my device or is it the broadcasting volume below normal? I don't know. Can't answer that question because I'm in here mm -hmm. and I'm hearing everything fine, but maybe oh dear, you're not. So it could be your device or it could be all broadcast. And then Philip D. Espinay says, an excellent conversation. Of course, my good friend, Checky Sam Gerard says, hi, Dr. Rajan Jr. The doc is locked on. Mm -hmm. Prashant is on. Very family. Prashant is on and he says, you know, Prashant, typical Prashant, press the wall button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he only cares about social media. <laughs> and Cassie says, great idea. I guess it was the idea about what, what I talk about. We are hiring five young ladies to do that. So if you yeah. are, if you are, you have to be attractive. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm telling you as it is. Yeah. You must be attractive. You must be open-minded. You must be willing to be part of this industry. That's very good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be because um, this is great news. Total image to the world. Salisha is on. Now, that's a hot woman. Salisha? Yes. Good night, doctor. Hi, good night. Um, mm -hmm. So, we get in there. There we get in there. Let's see what we have here. And... This person asked, is it okay to have an erection while doing that? It is very difficult to have an erection and pee at the same time. It is something that you have to program yourself to do, mm -hmm. but it's something you don't want to do too often to damage the valve. The first time I scooted, I apologized for it, but didn't know what it was. But I knew it felt good. It was only after listening to this program I knew what it was. Well, excellent. Well, yeah. You learn something? You learn something. Yeah. Learn. learn. Is it something. Trinidad? <laughs> you learn yes, something. Learn something. something. We all international listeners have to learn, like, have to learn what we just be talking mm -hmm. about. Yes. Oh my God. Izzy start she. Thing. She thing. She thing in my face. She thing in your. She thing in your face. Yes, it's right in my face. Mm -hmm. But it look, it could have been worse. Eh? It could have jumped out of. Yeah, if it jump out of me, I'll have to leave the studio. No, Big and yeah. pink, boy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh -huh. and wet. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. It's wet all the way through. All the way through. My God. Hmm. Yes, <laughs> big and open, just like that. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> like they say, it melts in your mouth, not in your hand. This one don't melt in your mouth. This one could be in your mouth all, a whole year and it ain't melting. It's mm. not melting. No, it ain't melt. Okay. okay no way. Anyway, folks, taking your time, 10 o'clock in Trinidad and Tobago, and I can tell you that you are making radio an experience by itself when you're listening to Sex Explosion right here on Power 12 FM. For those of you who are joining us for the very first time or listening to Sex Explosion for the first time, Sex Explosion is featured here on Power 12 FM every Thursday and Friday evening with sexologist Dr. Raj Ramnanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. May I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. 222-8255-612-8255. For those of you who would love to interact with him via the telephone. I'm not seeing a particular name that I'm looking for. You're not seeing? No, and I'm feeling sad. Good night, Dr. Raj. My girlfriend breasts are sagging and she don't like it. Is there any way or a cream she could use to make them firm? Which part I could get it? She's 19 at 19 years of age and she breasts sagging. Mm. That's not good. She could get something at the adult therapy. She can use the Max Enhance cream on her breasts. Mm. Mm. That's one thing that will work very well on the breasts. And what can I say, Easy, Keep them coming, Gil. What I yep. can... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Casey and the Sunshine Band. Keep yeah, it keep coming. it coming now. <laughs> you know they're still performing? Yeah. They have a concert this weekend in Miami. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Uh, still performing? Mm -hmm. I tell you, they're walking on crutches now and they're still performing. Yeah, Casey's still around. Yeah, he, he, he's, uh, Casey and the Sunshine Band yes. has been around since the 70s, you know, no, Mr. Yes, but I'll tell you, people appreciate the older bands and what they have. No, but they were around since the 70s and yeah. they were they were mm -hmm. men then. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
They were men then. Yeah, they were, yeah. And they, they weren't boys like me. I was a boy playing yeah. their records. And then people still go out to see them perform. They but they always pay. sold out. Yeah, they always pay to see them perform. They always Casey sold out. And but I'm talking about Earth, Wind, and Fire. Fire. Well, yeah. Well, when they were when they were together, because yeah. they're no longer together. Yeah. Oh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Have you ever seen them in concert, Mister? Okay. I haven't seen them live, but I've seen. You ever videos. see a live concert with them? I've seen videos and. My they, God. They light up. Uh, they can light up a place, a building. My God, them was the first with pyrotechnics and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me so run off the stage yeah. and thing, and all of a sudden you see cable pulling them up in here. Right. Yeah, Un unbelievable. They perform well. I saw them at the Jill's, Jill's Little Night Center in Miami. My mm -hmm. God. And after seeing them it. perform, especially if you're with your girlfriend and you finish a that concert, you'll want to go home and have sex. But it, but it always leads to sex. Mm -hmm. you, when you go into a concert, you always carry a woman yeah. because it yeah. leads. Mm -hmm. no, there's something about a concert, a live concert, that it leads to you, sex. That gives you I was. I can't remember how it came into my possession, but I got two tickets to Tina Turner, her last concert. Mm -hmm. She was, this was in the 80s, 80s or 90s, early 90s, last concert, last concert tour of the US. And I got mm -hmm. two tickets and I was at a cheesecake factory somewhere in Miami. And I had two tickets. My friends were there with me. They didn't want to go. And this beautiful waitress was serving us. So I asked her, I said, would you like to go to Tina Turner concert? Now, the concert was in Central Florida and mm -hmm. we are in Miami. So the drive alone is three hours. So she's like, you serious? I say, yeah, I have two tickets. Let's go. So she's like, where's the concert? When I told her, she said, well, that's a drive. I, um, I can't just, I don't have a car to go. I said, no, I'll take you. So the guys, they vouch for me. And I say, yeah, yeah, he's safe. I'll go with him. We went to the concert. Well, you know, Tina, the concert, concert could break down anything. Oh, yeah. Them legs is, mm -hmm. them legs and that ass is to die for. Mm -hmm. I have never seen sexier legs than that yet. On a stage vibrating yeah, but, and moving. Yeah. And apart from that is the way that she performs. Eh? Well, that's yeah. what I mean. When she performs, she vibrates she, her legs. Yeah, she really is. Um, so we had yeah. well, it was an amphitheater, mm -hmm. an outdoor amphitheater. So there was no seating. You had to sit mm -hmm. on the grass. Oh, but of yeah. course, you can't mm -hmm. sit on the grass when she's performing. You have to mm -hmm. get up and yeah, get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But boy, but that mm -hmm. can, that as well could could give you a feeling that. You know you're going to get lucky after performance like that. Well, that's why I tell you, it always leads to sex. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. Every concert I've been to, it always leads mm -hmm. to sex. And I used to go to every concert that comes to Florida. Mm -hmm. Every single concert yeah. you think about. She knows. I she don't is, miss concerts. She is, she is something else, anyhow. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I can tell you that you are making radio an experience. I tell you, the driving force, knowledge and experience. When it comes to sex education, right here on Power 102 FM, the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramdanan, of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. He says Casey's only 66 years of age. I'm not saying he's old, but I'm saying no, that. No, I know Casey when I was in my teens DJing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Casey yeah. was. The thing. Yeah. But Casey was the band. That was the band. Mm, that was the band. That before. Florida sound. Yeah. But they're still performing. Of course. All over. Lovely. And, and it's good to go to concerts. Too. It's really good to go to concerts and go with a nice, sexy young lady or, oh, God, or a guy yeah, that you yeah, like yeah, and yeah. you'll see what will happen. Yeah, yeah. Music does that, you know. That's why in parties and whatnot, I remember our good friend. Mm -hmm. We were, we met these girls at one of these clubs because we used to always leave with them. That's why we used to go when the place were closing up. That's why I tell you, we used to get the remnants. Mm -hmm. When the girls done their work for the night, they hyper. They can't go to sleep, you know. Mm -hmm. When the club closes at two, they can't go to no, sleep. Well, you know, but in, yeah. They want to party and they want to have I a could, good time. Yeah, I could figure that. I could no, I, will tell you, I, I yeah. could tell you that. that. Mm -hmm. So we used to be there waiting to take them home or mm -hmm. find something for them to do. And we took a few of them to a carnival fet. Soka blasting. And my partner was with this woman, and he's dancing away and what that really hot Italian girl. And you know, Soka, you have to hold on. Oh, yeah. You have to jump from behind yeah. and what that. When he yeah. jumped from behind, he put the hand and he pulled it up the skirt. He realized she had no panty. Mm. So she said, What were you waiting for all the time? He turned around mm. and looked at me and he said, Raj, your apartment empty? Give me the keys. <laughs> he left. And he jumped. We heard his tires screeching mm. coming out of that parking lot. 
He left there in such a hurry. Mm -hmm. He didn't wait. He just didn't wait. He was, was, his, what his, was his lucky night. Why? He, he got mm. lucky for all of us. <laughs> he got lucky for all of us, boy. What was... My God. He, drive, he drove out of there like a madman. Mm. And we were left enjoying the soca music with the other ladies. Mm -hmm. But of course, we all went back and had well, fun. You know, these foreigners too, especially when they hear soca music. Like, for instance, they call that girl who um, came down with Marshall. What, um, what's her name? Ashanti. Um, uh, Ashanti. Yes, she fell in love with Trinidad and Tobago. Who and, wouldn't uh, fall in love with Trinidad and Tobago? And especially with Carnival, you know? So, so when you're dealing in, in terms of foreigners and they're experiencing what we have to offer to the world, you know, it's unbelievable. The person who has problem coming too fast with his wife is 35 years of age. Age does not matter. You have to learn to control your PC muscle or else you're going to have problems in the future. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, given. So, um, you know, these, these are the things that is you reminisce up about, especially with your good friends when we beat up. I remember once, the same friend who I told you I met last week after 36 years. We were in this club mm -hmm. and there's this one girl in school that nobody ever paid attention to her. I certainly did pay attention. She was my friend, but I didn't pay attention to her in a sexual way. But you know, music does get you high. Oh yeah. So we're in a club called La Volcanique and we're having a wheel of a time and she came to the club because she knows that's where we hang out. So she was tracking us and lo and behold, she end up on the same part of the dance floor that we were on and she's dancing with us and having a good time and after one drink she starts to look good <laughs> after two she looking better after three it was like wow <laughs> so okay. this girl you never paid attention to in a sexual way suddenly started looking really good so i turned to my friend and i said joel um, you will have to drive my car back home to the apartment you know he said you're going home with her I say, well, it looked like that. <laughs> he said, well, it's very easy. You know. I say, no, I, I, I just, you know. No, and especially when you're thinking in terms of meeting foreign, and you know, we go back to the same thing, that our accent, the way we talk to people, you know, it's a whole new ball, it, it's a completely different ball game when you interact with people and they hear our accent. Well, she still like our accent, because you know, our friend was blonde hair and blue eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when he talk with a Trinidad accent, oh, yeah. then when yeah, he suggests yeah. spread the leg for him, and honestly, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. see girls spun around in class when he spoke, you know. Mm -hmm. Literally spun around, like he'll get up to answer a question. And he would talk Trini. Oh, he's he talk yeah. Trini, yeah. straight Trini. Well, you know him. You he know how he just talk. Oh, yeah. He have not right? changed at all. He haven't changed in the early yeah, years we have known him. And he just, he blurted out everything in Trini and they were like, what? Yeah, because they wanted to get to know him immediately. Yeah, because you're thinking in terms of the color of his skin. The color of his skin, the color of his eye, and the color of his hair. Yeah, and how he sounds. And how and he, he looks Caucasian. Mm -hmm. He is Caucasian, but he mm -hmm. speaks Trini. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And boy, he had them going. But they see, he's a pilot in the little Volkswagen bug that he had. <laughs> <laughs> if he's listening, he'll know. <laughs> Um, she got the motel that night. Yes, motel. Motel man. <laughs> we have a friend we call motel man. We can't... Um... <laughs> so, my friend took my car home. I went over to the um, young lady's home. And next morning when I got up and I realized who I was with, I was like, what? Mm -hmm. But in those days, was... No, but in those days, I, I mean... You, you could start to question yourself you know, and say, and did apart, I do yeah, that? And apart from that, you're so energetic at that age, too. Very energetic. Yeah, so, you know. Energy was flowing like that. Anyway, folks, taking more time. It's now 10 minutes after 10 o'clock. You are listening to Sexplosion on this Friday evening with sexologist Dr. Raj Ramanan. We're going to take a break and we're going to come right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> This car only had one seat in it. Huh? A chair we put in the car. We huh? bought this old Volkswagen. I think we paid $350 for it. We run electrical wire. Just running wire, you know, from one to the other. You know. uh -huh. Uh -huh. That car was a joke, you know. Now he's something, but when I... Recently, yeah, we've been each other. Yeah. 
Can we talk regularly? Mm-hmm. Of course. And he had one seat in that car, the driver's seat, and it was a chair that he put in it. I told you, I just go name in a while. No, no, no. Yeah. He's a good, he's a good guy. He's still in the age of advertising. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. That car burned down on the highway. He used to come by me when I used to work out. Yeah. But he used to be down by me. Uh-huh. He used to be by me regular for me. He used to walk up by you. Uh-huh. Yeah, he used to come up there. Uh-huh. He used to be by me almost every day. Uh-huh. In them days. Uh-huh. You forget I was the instigator. Well, we were. And we were switched to our part to preserve lives. Well, these are good. These are cool. Yeah. Sing twice every day. We give you life-saving tips and advice on how you can safely use our roads and highways in Trinidad and Tobago. We also invite you to download the safety app which you can use to share messages and information in your very own private networks between family and friends and co-workers all to keep each other safer. See twice. Is he a killer in the hair, girl? Management Corporation of Trinidad and Is Tobago he? Limited. Vencott. In association killing me here. And the TTPS. Neil and Massey North Credit Union. The Galat Group of Companies. Agricola Credit Union. And Computers and Controls. Think twice. Think twice. Safety. For you and your family. I mean, I think twice. And a safer Trinidad and Tobago. Want to continue that when it comes to sex education, we are always one step ahead. Nobody does better what we do best, taking sex education to a whole new level. Right here on Power, the two FM, your number one all around the station when it comes to talk and music. Mm-mm. With the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, well, just to remind you once again that our lines are open. If you would love to interact with him via the telephone, feel free at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 740-1961. You're listening to a program that deals with sex, love, and relationship. May I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris, you said me something. Mm. Oh. You do a song? Impotency is no more a threat. Age is just a number, so don't forget. Once Dr. Raj is around, there is no going down. Even the dead, he will resurrect. The old is come back young, it's pong for pong. Dr. Raj is the man with the program. Enjoy your life once more, like never before. Dr. Raj is the man with the vision. Dead senses come alive. Repair your glands like Where's you. If you, want it, you will do the things you thought you couldn't do. Get your sex life back and a brand new start. Dr. Raj is the man for that. I tell you, Dr. Raj, he is the man. Dr. Raj, he have the plan. Dr. Raj is the man for you and you and you. Dr. Raj, he is the man. Dr. Raj, he have the plan. Dr. Raj will make your dreams come true. Dr. Raj, thanks for that tablet. We're talking like magic. I wouldn't tell the people the name of it because I'll be letting out my secrets. But when they come by you, tell them, tell them, give them the crazy tablet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you, my good friend. Look at that. I Instantly, the man make a song, right? I'll tell you something, eh? From the time he spoke to you earlier on there, which is not even a good 
three quarters of an hour. Uh, he put that together. I am pretty sure. I am pretty but sure he's, he put that he's such a brilliant, brilliant person. Yeah. But, you know, the moral of the story <laughs> with Crazy Him is that the tablet book. That is the moral of the story. You know, I met an 85-year-old man the other day at a funeral um, a cremation. Uh -huh. And um, he asked me, he said, can, I, can you help me? Because the guys who were there were telling him who I was. And I said, of course. He said, how are you so sure you could help me? I said, well, my eldest patient was 84 years of age. Mm -hmm. And he was a pundit. Mm. 84 years? 84 years of age. Mm. 84. That was about 10, 10 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it just goes to show you that age doesn't matter really, yeah? No, it doesn't matter, and I don't think anybody should hang up their guns. You could always put mm -hmm. on your guns again. Yeah, it, all de it all depends on how you feel. Well, you can't do the things at 85 or 75, like Which when you were 17 uh, or 18. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that. Well, you, the older you get, you are limited in some of the things that you can do. But if you can take something to give you that extra spark, especially... Mm -hmm. I mean, I will help any Calypsonia now. Mm -hmm. Any artist, any um, anyone like that, because I know they burn the candles at two ends, and sometimes they burn it in the middle also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm friendly with all of them. Mm -hmm. They, whoever asks me for assistance, I will gladly assist them because they have to keep their energy up. They crazy flies the flag of Trinidad and Tobago throughout the world. You know, mm -hmm. he travels like me. You know, he has the red, white, and black on him mm -hmm. all the time. Even when he's performing outside, he has the red, white, and black mm -hmm. on him all the time, and that's what I admire about him. You know. Yeah. At any point in time, he doesn't have to say all who from Trinidad raise your hand. You know. No. He has the red, white, and black on him every time. I mean, mm -hmm. when we travel, we travel, a, we travel a lot together. We bounce up in the airport all the time. And I bounce up most of the artists because mm -hmm. when they're traveling out to do yeah, gigs outside, I, I, I meet up with them and whatnot. Right. Right. And Worldwide. any one of them asks mm -hmm. me for because, for example, the tablet that he used is for energy. Most mm -hmm. businessmen use one a month. It drops your stress level and it helps you with your sexual. Um, being and it also helps you to deal with the stress. Mm. So when you're traveling, there's something that affects you, which is called jet lag. There's something that affects you, which is called stress. Don't feel traveling is a wonderful thing. As most people who travel on vacation think that traveling is a glamorous and glorified thing. You know? mm -hmm. It is not for us, you know. Mm. When we travel, we are under stress, you know, because we are out there to do something and we have a very little window of time to do it. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Recently, he was going to Boston to get an award, and I was going to um, Las Vegas to a show. I went up to Las Vegas in the morning, and by next even, evening, I was back in Trinidad. You know? mm -hmm. And he was going to Boston to perform also. So, these kind of things are what we go through. So, I know what you need to use to keep your energy level up. I know what you need to do to keep your stress levels down. I, need what you, I know what you need to do to boost your sexual energy. Because that is part of life. Well, of course, yeah, it is. He's a bachelor, yeah. he's a bachi. I mean, oh God, come on, I crazy. Which, which young lady don't like? You ever see the pictures crazy as a go to the woman? Mm -hmm. You ever see, a, you ever see a, 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 a woman who's not attractive with him? Always, always. Always, you know, the best looking woman crazy does have pictures of him, you know. No, I have saw, um, I've seen a couple of videos of him recently. And um, when he goes and he's performing, you know, I mean, people, women go crazy over my brother here. I met a young lady in 19... Who this would have been either the late 70s or early 80s because I was in university then. Mm -hmm. All I call her name is Joanna. And she was the model of one of his album. I think she was fixing a car tire. She was stooped down mm -hmm. and you could only see her bottom and she was fixing it. But of course I recognize the bottom. And she was living in New York. And we became friends before she did that modeling for that. Mm -hmm. Joanna was her name. But boy, oh God. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's another thing. When he do put out albums, he always have attractive women. Oh yes. Feature attractive All the women. time. So that's why I love crazy. On the covers. But look, I, I, I had to play that song again before the night done, you know. Mm -hmm. Just so you recorded I, it? He sent it in a... Oh, uh, 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 yeah, he sent it in a recording here. Um, Gloria, yes, you missed my response about the 68-year-old with the 21-year-old. I said it's okay. 
as long as she's attracted to him and she wants to have sex with him, by all means, go ahead. Forget what people say. They're not sleeping with her. Crazy will tell you the same thing. He's 75. <laughs> Ashina is on, Aklima is on, um, who else? I'm missing something here, I'm not getting, Prashant has to show me this, you know. Now if he was here, he would have been reading off the, um, the other device. Mm -hmm. So, we're here to talk about fetishes, I'm not seeing enough fetishes coming to me. Those are the things that you like to do that is out of the ordinary, um, when it comes to ordinary sexual practices. Out of the... The, 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 um, the boring type of things that people like to do. Out of the normal realm. Give them the crazy tablet. Yeah. I have to remember that name, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Eh. The most important thing is that it's working for him. And, um, hmm? the, the most important thing is that it work. It, it is well, working for him. He wouldn't. He wouldn't come and say that something mm -hmm. that no, didn't no, work. No, work no. because he's the kind of man I tell you. He's a very straightforward man. He is. He is. So I, I, that is. I, I can't pay for that kind of endorsement, boy. Think about no, it. No, you, you have one of the greatest calypsonians in this country. Just made a calypso on us within us for not even thirty minutes and endorse a product. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Wow. Anyway, folks, taking a turn 24 minutes after 10 o'clock. You are listening to Sex Explosion on Power 102 AirFam, your number one all around the station when it comes to talk and music with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramlinam of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center located in St. Augustine. Folks, just to remind you that our lines are open if you would love to interact with him. Who knows, maybe something that's sexual might be on your mind and it's really bothering you and you need to get an answer for. Well, you can give him a call at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, that also can be done on his private mobile, 740-1961. You're listening to a program that deals with sex, love, and relationship exclusively on Power 102 FM. Accurate, reliable, and powerful. Check, he said he's working on a rhythm right now for that song, so I just sent him the um, little clip that mm -hmm. Tracy did. So I'm sure he, well, check, he does a lot with music, so I'm sure he will do he something. Gonna, he going to give you a checky remix? Well, a checky mix. <laughs> a checky mix. Mm. My first kiss was at a concert. Did you go to a kiss concert? <laughs> mm. A lot of people recently were coming down on the young girl who was with the five boys labeled the small piggy crew. But I would like to be in her shoes, not on that dirty mattress, but in her shoes. Ooh. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. She like gangbang, I guess. My fetish, me, you, eh, mm, uh, uh, <laughs> I can't talk that language, boy. Right? Hey, no. Mm-hmm. Like, like the guy who was here earlier. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Where is the break it down in English? Yeah, you have to break it down in English. Mm -hmm. So I just did it in that language that only I and the person will understand. Wow. Wow. That is a fetish. Mm. Well, more than a that is a fetish that is not radio friendly. That is not, mm -hmm. Nope. And Prashant says, let's use that as an ad. Love this song. Of course, we could use it. Oh, well, we have to ask Crazy if we could use it as an ad. I don't think he, um, would, he, he wouldn't mind. Bronx, New York, locked on from Haroon. Um, hi, Dr. Rajan Jr. Kavita is locked on. Minty is locked on also. Anthony, Derek, my friend from NEC, and okay, those are the people that are locked on. So I'm, I'm um, Mr. Ayong, do we have permission to use that song? 
Good night, Dr. Raj. Anytime I go to have sex, my erection does drop. Can I get help? Anyone could get help once you're willing to do what you're supposed to do. Some people want instantaneous help and there's no mm -hmm. magic wand that I have that I can wave it and say, abracadabra, no. you fix. Mm -hmm. No, no. That no. don't happen. But no. once there is a will, there is a way. Um, I don't like to word, use the word impotence because that gives the connotation that nothing could be done after that. I like to think about erectile dysfunction in a way that you can solve the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least, mm -hmm. if not to have sex regularly, but to have sex um, once in a while, once a month, once in every two weeks, or once a week, and you should be satisfied with that. There are some guys who move from having no sex for mm -hmm. many years to having sex once a week and they're not satisfied with it. Yeah. Imagine you're having no sex for many years, and you, and you could have sex for once a month, but they're not satisfied with that, they want more. Well, that's like the dog on the bone. Mm -hmm. You're greedy. You want more. Yeah. But I think what might could what could be happening there is that they figured that they missed out for so many years, and um, after experiencing it after so many years, you know they like what they're getting. I don't think it's that. I think it's more like um, you want a, you want changes in your life that is not part of what is supposed to be happening, mm -hmm. you could have small changes. Especially, you see, the penis is made up of erectile tissues. It's made up of valves that opens and close all the time. Erectile tissues valves, and there are two caporas that goes down the side of the <coughs> penis, that makes up the penis, the body of the penis, and then you have the spongiosum underneath that feeds the penis. Mm -hmm. If you haven't been using your penis for, let's say, three, four years, anything yep. over a year. You have diabetes. You have diabetes attacks the nerve ending, so it damages the cells. You're going to have those valves that are not opening and closing as they should. So blood that goes into the penis flows out back at the same rapid rate. When the valves are working properly, the blood that goes in at one rate comes out at a slower rate, so you maintain an erection. Mm. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. The erectile tissue, if it's not fed the blood, the way it's supposed to be fed, you're not going to get a turgid, hard erection. So for years, if you're not using your penis, what happens? The valves get damaged, the nerve endings are damaged, the erectile tissue don't work the way they're supposed to work because for years, there was no blood flowing into the penis. It's not getting the nutrients that it needs. So don't expect that moving from zero to being able to have sex two and three times a week, that's not going to happen. No, no, no. So you have to be no. thankful now that you can move from zero to having sex once a month. Mm -hmm. And as you go along and as you build up and as you strengthen and as you do the necessary thing, that's why Dr. Maharaj is important to do the, the treatment for the nerve endings of persons who are diabetic, mm -hmm. persons who have Parkinson's diseases and other things associated with the nervous system, Anything like that, you need treatment. If you have problems with high blood pressure and low blood pressure and all those things, you need treatment for that. So if you do the treatment together with doing the treatment for your erection, your in erection will improve as you go along. So there's no miracle that is going to take place where you're going to become from zero to a stud. Mm, okay. But yeah. when you do get an erection and you're with your partner, and that partner stimulates you enough based on the things that we talk about at the beginning of the program, which is the five senses, the imagination that we use, the words that are said to you, the things, the fetishes that the person may have, that you may have. You may be able to have a good sexual session that lasts a, a, a day or two. Mm. You might have erection to have sex in the morning and have erection to have sex okay. in the evening time. So why not put it to use? Yeah. Fully. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So when you start using it, you start getting the strength back, you start fixing your erection, and you can become better at having your sexual life. Can you tell about the adult entertainment? I never go to one. It's... The adult entertainment is strictly that. Adult entertainment by both male and female. It's interactive. If you want to interact, it's... Um, 
If you don't want to, you can just sit back and watch. That's why Checky said, tune up, tune up at the adult therapy center. Okay, I guess he's making the tune. Is it wrong to masturbate every day? Of course it is. All you're going to do is you're going to weaken your PC muscle. You're going to cause yourself to ejaculate quickly. You can even um, get so accustomed to masturbating that you can't have sex the conventional way. Mm -hmm. There are some guys who over masturbate. Over masturbation is not a good thing. Masturbation is all right if done properly. Over masturbation is not a good thing. On an average, <clears throat> two or three someone, times for the week. I just said two or three times. Two or three times. I know what you were going to ask because I know you wanted to know if you're doing it too often. <laughs> and the answer is that you've been um, long enough with me on this radio program to know it's two or three times a week. Yeah. And I know you cut it down from no, no, two I or three mean, times a day no, to two or three times I would, a week. No, I was just asking. I was just. <laughs> I was just asking it for the average listener who might. Think, for the average Joe out there. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, not yeah. not the way you do it. No, no. <laughs> okay, because you have fixed that. No, no, but I mean, I... You have I, adjusted? No, well, after, um, after being an understudy... Right, so you have adjusted. Uh, it's yeah. no longer two or three no, times no, a day. No, 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 no. Okay. Two, two or three times. And that is not counting the amount of time you have sex. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you. Izzy, what are you doing to me? What, 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 what? <clears throat> Izzy is a... Anyway, folks, I can tell you more now than ever. We are putting the fun back into sex education right here on Power 102 FM. Your number one all-round station. You know that for a fact, right? When it comes to talk and music. You are on the inside with the only sex sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramnanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. I sit here with him. I'm going to right say this, me. but I'm not going to call this name because it's going to get a lot of people in trouble. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell crazy... Remix that song to say, Dr. Raj is a man for hmm, 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 hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool song. Oh, well, that's Crazy, if you want to know the name, I will give you the name because you're my partner. Mm -hmm. But I can't call out the name on the air. That's, that's the adult version? Or? Hmm? Eh? That's the adult version? No, the person is putting their name into the song. Oh, putting their name into the song. Oh, okay. okay. No, that's so... Good. Um, I just realized my fetish <laughs> is having you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I am not going to go down that road. I will get in trouble. Mm. I will really get in trouble. And I'll play it over again. Yes, I will play it. Somebody asked that we... Replay the song, yes, and I think I think it deserve a replay right now. Yes, as a matter of fact, and let me yeah, address. It. I was having a little bedroom problem, boy. You know, I wasn't performing well, and the girl telling me she said, "Look, boy, I can't take this thing no more. You know, it look like I want to go back with my old boyfriend." You know? And I said, "Oh God!" I said, "Look, I'm in trouble here now." I said, "Let me find out." I went by my partner, Lenny. He said, "Look, you go by Doctor Ratch with, and see Doctor." I went by Doctor Ratch, and here I'm, uh, I'm sparking right now. And you remember the song I sing, give me more, give me more, I want it all like it. Right now, she and all singing it, you know? Because I'm performing like a Hebrew dog. I'm performing like a master. You know, so I Hebrew say, I must go dog. and do something for you Dr. Raj. Because that tablet, he gave me the book in magic. Yeah. Fellas my age, I am, my name is I am. Go by Dr. Raj, I do a song for him, or they hear something here. Listen to this, Dr. Raj stands a lot. Impotency is no more a threat. Age is just a number, so don't forget. Once Dr. Raj is around, there is no going down. Even the dead, he will resurrect. The old is come back young, it's pong for pong. Dr. Raj is the man with the program. Enjoy your life once more, like never before. Dr. Raj is the man with the vision. Dead senses come alive. Repair your glands like new. You will do the things you thought you couldn't do. Get your sex life back and a brand new start. Dr. Raj is the man for that. I tell you, Dr. Raj, he is the man. Dr. Raj, he have the plan. Dr. Raj is the man for you and you and you. Dr. Raj, he is the man. Dr. Raj, he have the plan. Dr. Raj will make your dreams come true. Dr. Raj, 
thanks for that tablet, but looking like magic. I wouldn't tell the people the name of it because I would be letting out my secrets. But when they come by you, tell them, tell them, give them the crazy tablet. Yeah, looking nice, boy. Oh, God, cut me, I can't match you, the body. Give me more, give me more. I want it, I like it. Dr. Rags, thank you. So I hope that satisfied that listener mm -hmm. or viewer. The tablet, huh? Is <laughs> yeah, you should meet Izzy, you know. Wicked Angel, you should meet Izzy. Yes. You would love it. Believe me, you would love it. Doctor, I want to have sex with this woman, but when I went to have, I didn't get an, a reaction. Well, you wouldn't get a reaction if you're incapable of getting an erection. So, mm -hmm. no erection, no reaction. So, you got to fix those things first if you want to perform. That's important. Yeah. It don't make sense you go in with someone and you don't have the skills to do the things that are necessary to satisfy the person in different ways. And especially with an erection, because there are some persons who look forward to that erection. Now, sometimes it may take a little more stimulation from the person. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it may take something that is different, but you have to be able to put it across. And Izzy says she love to meet her too. I could imagine if two of them in bed together. Mm -hmm. Wicked Angel and Izzy. Here is the fire services after coming. You know? mm -hmm. Things go. will be too hot, boy. My God. Police uh. could, um, the police could burn down. Yeah. All I'm going to say, Sunita, darling, what I'm going to tell you? I don't I, I, you. <laughs> What I'm going to tell you, girl? Like, mm -hmm. um, that's all I could say. Mm -hmm. Sunita is a generic name. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could use that. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. So. Anyway, folks, taking our time, 21 minutes before 11 o'clock. Nobody does better what we do best, knowledge and experience. This is what it's all about. When you are listening to Sex Explosion right here on Power 102 FM. For those of you joining us for the very first time or who are listening to Sex Explosion for the first time, Sex Explosion is featured here on Power 102 FM every Thursday and Friday evening with sexologist Dr. Raj Ramnanan. He comes in, keep us company, and... Um, if you are going through anything that is sexual and you need to get answers to, well, he could give you an answer, I can tell you that. Well, our lines are open if you would love to interact with him via the telephone, feel free at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. You're listening to a program that's educational, sex, relationship, and love, all bundling here, We're right here on Power 22 F. <laughs> Somebody yeah, busted your files here, boy. Me? Prashant says, crazy is the man. Somebody says, Junior was the girl's man when he used to work at CAMS. And that is so true. Mm. Oh. That is so true. Oh. Yeah, right. Okay. That is not true. Every lady who passed through Long Circular Mall, no family. Mm -hmm. Every woman that passed downstairs neck or in front of CAMS, knows family. I could tell you that. Mm -hmm. You didn't have time for we when we fellas pass it and we hail you out. You just it's a quick friend. Like, hey, oh, it it and it's not all old talk. You know what the old talk with me? It was the hat. It wasn't the hat, it was you. Mm -hmm. All the ladies used to line up to talk to you. You used to run out the store to talk to them. Well you know <laughs> 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 you get catch. Yeah. <laughs> you wretch you, we catch you. Oh boy, I tell you. Yes, mm -hmm. you were yeah. caught with your pants down. Mm -hmm. Well, not literally, but. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference in having sex every day and masturbating every day? Of course, there's a difference. Sex, there's a chemistry, there's a, there's a, a, a difference in having sex and masturbating. But it's not recommended to have sex every day for a man, mm -hmm. especially yeah. if you're getting down in age. Mm -hmm. You have to have recuperation. Hmm. I know somebody's making a comment in their head. Yeah. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. You could feel it, I know. I it. could feel it. Mm -hmm. You could feel it, I know it. Yes. Mm. So, 
Take that thought out of your head. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> oh, he says, crazy is a man we can all listen to. Oh, yeah. Not that crazy Rastafarian who does be on the air talking and set of stupidness. Mm. Dotishness. Dotishness squared. Mm. Not that crazy Rastafarian. Because I used to work at words and music. This is Harun. Mm. He said he used to work at words and music. Words and music. I remember that thing. Yeah. Yeah. So he knows you. Yeah, I know that. He know what you used to do. Yeah. You sure you didn't have a private office in the back? No. Tell me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the record store. You know the I know, I know, I know. I'm just joking with Nine you. Oh, no, God. No, I used to be there often. Mm -hmm. I used to be there often, so I know. Mm. Nice place, man. Mm hmm. Mm. It's a shame they close. They close. Well, all good things come to well, an end. Well, of course, you know, nothing lasts forever. No, no, no. That that's a, that's a given. Nothing lasts nothing forever. Lasts all good forever. things come to an end, and it's just what we um, program for. Hmm. Those are the things that happen. Those are the things that we need to do. Those are the things that in life, the only constant in life is change. You know? mm -hmm. well, and yeah. once we understand that changes are constant in life. We will appreciate things differently. We would, we would, um, we would know mm -hmm. um, what we need to do, what we need to um, to better ourselves with. So, prepare ourselves. I'll tell you know. In life, you come across so many challenges so many things that you have to overcome mm -hmm. to be good at what you are to be the kind of person you want to be to project yourself and one thing i admire about you junior is that consistently over the years that i've known you there were times that i knew you that we weren't friends but you have always been consistent in your friendliness and your interaction with people. And that says a lot about somebody. It, I remember the first time my, fa my father used to listen to the program and he would always ask me, who is this guy? They say, family, family all the time. And he used to say, you know, that is such a nice thing for a man to call people family. And the first time he met you, you know, he, it was like he already knew you because of that personality that you have. And those are the things that you have to be consistent about. It's the same thing. Anybody who knows me when I was a child will tell you that is the same Raj you know today. The only thing is that I've matured. I have I, I may look at things a little differently, but I'm the same person. Meaning that I will treat everybody the same way. I I am very generous, I'm very loving, I'm very giving, and that's me. And sometimes in my quiet moment, people say I'm unapproachable because I'm just quiet and I'm, I may be reserved about certain things. I'm, I'm an outgoing, I'm an extroverted person, but there are times that I just have my quiet moments. But anybody who approach me to talk to me and say hello and whatnot, I give them my time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I make sure I give them my time. And that's something I always saw you doing. So those are the qualities that you have to admire in someone. You have to admire that. So throughout the years, you have been consistent. When I look at your radio personality, you used to manage a big hotel, but yet still you don't do it. And that's mm -hmm. something that you, you can't train somebody to do that. It has to be part of their DNA to be like that. You can't tell somebody, here what, this is how you need to be. It has to be part of who you are, your DNA, your niceness what's come across. Giving people a little token, you know, saying a nice word, a gentle word, an encouraging word. Those are the things that you have to do. And that is what your personality should be about. They said Junior was the original sex guru. guru. Every girl was his family. That is true. Every woman that passed family. <laughs> Somebody read all your files and they're busting yeah, it, boy. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, boy. Prashan says Junior is a really genuine guy. That's a fact. That's a fact. Anybody who knows you will say that. I mean, you have you have become part of our family. Spending time in our home and interacting with my 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 wife, my children, my my parents and whatnot. And I mean, you are part of the family. No matter what. I really appreciate that. Yeah. So, 
Keep it up, Junior. Keep it up because it's a it's a quality that will take you into your 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 twilight years, where people will say, "Well, yes, this man is a genuine man. He has touched my life positively," and that's what we need to do. We have to reach out and touch. I don't mean physically touch, but touch people with our words, touch people with our action, touch people with our niceness. Mm -hmm. Because you're only here for a short period of time in your life and you need to do these things. Yeah. You need to do these things. You have to leave that mark. You're only remembered in this lifetime that you have until the last person remembers you. Anytime that last person who knows you, who remembers you, who remembers your voice, stops remembering you through death or anything else, that's the end of you. That's what people don't realize. History book could record that you were so and so and do so and so and so and so. But when that last person remembers you, dies, that's the end of you. Hmm. Yeah. That's the end. No matter what anyone has written about you, it ends when that last person remembers you, who has seen you, who has been touched by you. Hmm. So that's why it's important to always touch. Yeah. Not physically yeah. touch, but touch people's heart. Hmm. Well, I must say, nice for the endorsement. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody oh, somebody says I was supposed... P.S. Where is that pleasing to the eye young man with that sexy voice? I don't know who you're talking about. Junior? <laughs> no, they're speaking about you, man. I don't know who she's talking about. Yeah. Um, and she calls me by my... Anytime you see somebody say garage. That's somebody. Hey. Hmm. That's original, as a matter of fact. Oh, um, he has a really good vibe. I feel like I can make things up a notch in a different way. Hope he's still on. Don't put... <laughs> my Chatria blood does come very easily, my dear. It's part of my DNA, I'm sorry. <laughs> that could come out in a... That could come out uh, before I take a breath. As the old people would say, that could come out in a jiffy. No, seriously. Uh -huh. That does overtake my, my being in a in split a, second. Mm. Split second. Mm -hmm. That is one thing I can't tame. Uh -huh. No, I can't. I try, but... No control. I've, I, I, I Sometimes I stop and say, okay. But, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Imagine a session with Wicked Angel and Junior. Hmm. Mm. Something for the movies, right? Is, is he saying that? Is he saying that? Easy, okay. I don't know if Wicked Angel will endorse that by sending me a message on my cell phone. Mm -hmm. But this is what Easy is saying. Easy saying. Remember, Wicked Angel knows you. Mm -hmm. You have an idea. Yeah, could you, I could remember her. So, nice lady. Beautiful, sexy woman. Oh, yes. I have, I have known Wicked Angel for about 12 years. Or well, more. Should be more than 12 years. Yeah, maybe over 14 years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice lady. Anyway, folks, taking your turn. It's now 10 minutes before 11 o'clock. You are listening to Sexplosion with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Randonam of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located in St. Augustine, where he do treats all sexual dysfunctions in both male and female. Just to remind you once again that our lines are open. If you would love to interact with him via the telephone, feel free. 222-8255. Also at 612-8255. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 740-1961. You're listening to a program that deals with sex, love, and relationship exclusively. On Power 102, FM, accurate, reliable, and powerful. Scientists say people will definitely have sex in self-driving cars. If they just have sex in cars that you're driving, why would they have sex in self-driving cars? That, that, that's a given. <laughs> that is a given. We People are so adventurous when it comes to sex. 
Mm-hmm. I know persons who have had sex in those horse carriages that goes around, you know, like when you go to those countries, you, you, you go yes, on the horse yeah. carriage and you mm-hmm. go around the mm-hmm. city, like in mm-hmm. London and whatnot. But in New York City? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know people who have had sex there. Mm-hmm. And especially... I know persons who have gotten blowjobs there. Yeah. And especially in New York, it's more comfortable because when you're going through Central Park, there's a lot of dead areas in Central Park. Yeah. Very, right. very quiet yeah, areas. Very quiet, yeah. Like when I go through Central Park, my wife and daughter mm-hmm. always get kicks about this, you know. I'll be walking out of us and I'll go, dang, dang, dang. Mm-hmm. So they were like, I said, looking for the dead bodies because, mm-hmm. you know, in um, those crime shows, they mm-hmm. always have a dead body in Central Park. Always. So I'm always looking for it, you know. Always. I'm always looking for the dead bodies yeah, in Central Park. I love to walk through Central Park. Who, I mean, many of us know Central Park. Um, I love to walk through Central, Central Park. Park. Central Park is so large. You, you know, well, I um, love to walk through there. Mm-hmm. It's just different. Yeah, yeah. It, you, it gives you a different. You see, I think one of the reasons is that you're so before getting into Central Park, you move around in the city. So when you True. get into that environment, True. it's a complete, di- a complete different feeling that comes over you. So mm-hmm. that pl- is so true. Great place to have sex. Central Park. I've never had sex in Central Park. Have you? No, no. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's great to have I sex there. Movies. I don't believe you. I to, I, <laughs> no, I feel that bridge when you no, enter no. Central Park from the west, west side. Yeah. Yeah, you know that bridge that you could go on? And yeah. I feel you had sex there. No, right? no, no, no. I saw that I just something just tell me you did. No, no, never, never went on a carriage ever since. No, not the carriage. I don't come under, under the bridge. No, I never used to go deep into Central Park. Oh, you're lucky. No, yeah, no. You're lucky. I never used to take those chances. Central Park. No. It could be dangerous. Yeah, very, very. I know. Very. But I love parks when I go to visit countries. I love to walk through parks mm-hmm. and take in the greenery and the scenery. enjoy the scenery and the people mm-hmm. and the sounds and the... Uh, uh-huh. Hear what Wicked Angel say. Anytime the red man ready. Mm-hmm. The wicked Angel is saying that. She say anytime okay. you're ready. Mm-hmm. I know in, Wicked Angel is insatiable, eh? Yeah, she is. Her appetite is insatiable when it comes mm-hmm. to things of a sexual nature. Mm-hmm. So before we go tonight, we'll be about five minutes to the end of the program. Mm-hmm. We'll play that. And we have to hear crazy again. One more time. We definitely have to. One more time. I love it. I, mm-hmm. I, I think we're going to make it our team song. Yes, and uh, I mean we should we should make it our team song mm-hmm. somewhere along the line. Yes, and the thing about it is so amazing that it only took him about thirty-five minutes. For him to put something like well, that that's together. the that's the genius of the man. Yeah. When you are a genius, you could do that. Yes, it only took him. You and I will take thirty-five years. Thirty-five years is. <laughs> and <laughs> if somebody yes. tell me to write something, it's thirty. The only other person who could do that is Davis Emil. Where is he? Mm-hmm. And you know what was you know what was the nice thing about it? What he did, he even put a rhythm to it. Well, you want have a rhythm too. Yeah. The rhythm, he have a rhythm to it. It's not to say that he d- did it a ca- uh, cappella. A cappella. No, he had a, he had a rhythm. Well, that is great. Let's see what's happening here. Prashan say, ha ha, what a show. Have a great night, fellas. Your family is nice to hear from you, man. Ramesh is on. Ms. Vicky's on. Yasmin mm-hmm. is on. Marie Janelle says, hi to everyone. I'm late, but still here. That's Thank That's you very much beautiful. for that. So it doesn't really, it's um, better to be late than never here. Mm-hmm. So, so Harun was busting your file right through, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, somebody Leandra was, was here. Leela was here. Renuka was here. I didn't hear from Renuka. Renuka sent me some very um, exciting text messages this afternoon uh-huh. into evening. It kept me company when I when I woke up from my slumber. Kept your company, yeah? Mm. It was delicious. Delicious. So it was of that interest. Can you continue the topic on anal sex? What about anal sex? Lubrication when it comes to anal sex? Um, what about anal sex? If you if you ask me something specific, Sally is also on. Sally, I like that name. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, a very sexy Sally. Our Sally. No, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, she's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful woman. You forget you took out a picture with her right here. It's only poster. You know? Yes, yes, I could have been. And that's, yeah. You're right about that. And I have Indra, you're fasting. 
Lord, I could imagine when you're not fasted. <laughs> mm. She gave me a warning before and said, I'll be fasting from now till da 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 da. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, it's all kind of sex talk. I think if you send a warning that I'm fasting, the sex talk is shop, st mm -hmm. stop. So, we're almost to the end of our program, so we will do that one more time. They say when it's nice, you do it twice. That's correct. Yeah. So we're going to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. I can't take this thing no more, you know. It looks like I want to go back with my old boyfriend, you know. I say, oh, God. I say, look, I'm in trouble, you know. I say, let me find out. I went by my partner, Lenny. He say, look, you go by Dr. Raj quick. I see Dr. I went by Dr. Raj and here I'm at. I sparking right now. And you remember the song I sing? Give me more, give me more. I want it. I like it. Right now, she and all singing it, you know? Because I'm performing like a Hebrew dog. I'm performing like a master. So I say, I must go and do something for Dr. Raj. Because that tablet, he gave me the book in magic. Fellas my age, I young. My name is I young. Go by Dr. Raj. I do have some fame. Let hear something here. Listen to this. Dr. Raj, thanks a lot. Impotency is no more a threat. Age is just a number, so don't forget. Once Dr. Raj is around, there is no going down. Even the dead, he will resurrect. The old is come back young, it's pound for pound. Dr. Raj is the man with the program. Enjoy your life once more, like never before. Dr. Raj is the man with the vision. Dead senses come alive. Repair your glands like new. You will do the things you thought you couldn't do. Get your sex life back and a brand new start. Dr. Raj is the man for that. I tell you, Dr. Raj, he is the man. Dr. Raj, he have the plan. Dr. Raj is the man for you and you and you. Dr. Raj, he is the man. Dr. Raj, he have the plan. Dr. Raj will make your dreams come true. Dr. Raj, thanks for that tablet, boy. Working like magic. I wouldn't tell the people the name of it because I'll be letting out my secrets. But when they come by you, tell them, tell them, give them the crazy tablet. Yeah. Walking nice boy, oh God, cut me here, you know, man, you the bullet, give me more, give me more, I want it, I like it. Dr. Rax, thank you. And thank you for that endorsement. Again. And don't send, don't send me messages while it's being taped. You'll find yourself in problems. You should know better than that. I don't know why people doesn't think. think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, they think. Some, sometimes it's the excitement, huh? Yeah, but think. Mm -hmm. Think gets you in trouble. Yes, it does. It does. Hmm. Ah, yes. Sometimes you can't think for people. You, know, you have to. No, you got to think for yourself. Let's be careful, please, people. Mm -hmm. Please. So, folks. We've come to the end of our program tonight. Of course, we thank everyone for tuning to the program who was in with us on Facebook. Those of you on Instagram, I didn't see that one name I was looking for. Um, I don't know if, I've, if I hope everything is okay. And for those of you listening on radio or through our app, mm -hmm. thank you very much for that. I leave you with Junior for the rest of the night. Well, not for the rest of the night, until, until 12 o'clock. And then it's BBC after that. Good night, mm -hmm. folks. You have been listening to Sex Explosion here on Power 2.1 FM with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramdanam of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located in St. Augustine. <laughs>